in a nutshell, here's what I want you to know today. Number one, you are not alone. I mean, just look at the turnout for a conversation that's about how messy this moment is, right? So we are in it together and we're going to affirm that together. And also the second thing is that we don't have to have all the answers. Um, in fact, the trick is to get comfortable enough with this gooey pupa DNA changing moment to allow things to form organically, not to manufacture something just so we can have an answer because we're so, we're so needing an answer and everything cha is changing so much. So to get comfortable in the goo, uh, but not so comfortable that we get uh, complacent, uh, to keep our senses peeled and our eyes open for the unfurling, unfolding of the possibilities. This is not a quick fix webinar, my friends, with just five how-to things to make your worship great in a time when it's kind of messy, but it's more holistic. How do we prepare for the work that we are in that is ahead of us? Yes, I'm going to give you some concrete things but it's also more holistic. So stick with me as I build this out during this webinar. Um, and the antidotes for our aching hearts that don't know what to do in the midst of not having the answers is to get curious. Curiosity is the most important attribute that we can cultivate right now. You know, I have dealt with anxiety in my life. And so sometimes I will put a daily reminder that pops up on my phone. That's just the word wonder. And it has a double meaning. One is to just wonder at the beauty and awe around me, the abundance around me, but also to get curious. Hmm, that thing I'm anxious about, I wonder how that will turn out to turn anxiety into curiosity. And so this is something that entrepreneurs know at all times, not just in pandemic times, that curiosity is more important than intelligence, than answers. It's our greatest asset. And you are a spiritual entrepreneur, I call you, because we in this moment have to think about the circumstances right now and how we can do our jobs in ways that maybe we've never done them before uh, and continuing to try to find even in this moment when we've been doing that for the last year and a half, even in this moment, how can we do sustainable things that reach people where they are in this moment? 